Hey, I'm David Carno, executive editor for CNUT.com, and I am here with the Project Hear It One headphones. This is a debut headphone from a company that makes affordable and very good turntables. So we had high expectations for these headphones. They retail for around $130. Now, the only problem is that they have this similar design to a couple of other headphones that retail for less. There's an Incipio model, for instance, that can be had for less than $35. These are a little bit better built than those. They do have a little bit of aluminum on the outside, um, and they have a little bit swankier feel to them, um, but they're based on a very similar design. Now, I don't know what's inside the drivers, what the components are, so it's very hard to tell whether they're the exact same components. Uh, they do sound very decent. They just don't necessarily have the build quality and the sound quality of a headphone that would cost $130. I did like them, and so did Steve Guttenberg, who reviewed them. They sound very smooth and clear. Um, they're also well-balanced and have decent bass response, not as good as something like the ATH M50 from Audio-Technica. It's a little bit pricier headphone, a little more full-sized. Uh, so they're a decent sounding headphone, not fantastic. Uh, so the real question here is the value equation. If these were priced at closer to $75, we could certainly recommend them, but they're harder to recommend at $130, particularly since they don't have any sort of inline remote with microphone and the cord is attached on this. So there you have it, the Project Hear It One headphone, uh, a decent headphone, just not the greatest value. I'm David Carnaway. Thanks for watching.